well hello there again in um, 1980s I had um, one of my dreams is to be an actress well I am an actress but not a famous one so. well Bob is on back then was for modeling, but also Bob is on school was also for acting. Bob is on was in New York City. So in the 1980s, I went to Bob is on acting school every Saturday. So I went. I had a ball. I learned so many techniques that actors and actors did. Um, I met a nice a few nice people there. I met a girl. Um, they would ask everybody, why are you in acting school? Why do you want to be an actress or an actor? Why? Why? So I would tell them my reason. And um, my friend that I met there, she said that a guy selling pots on the corner told her she's very pretty, she should be an actress. So that was her dream, to be an actress. One second. Sorry about that. When you're recording, you don't know what's going to ha happen. So... I learned a lot of things, and my teacher was very good. But there's one thing I didn't do. I never went to summer stock. That's one thing I didn't do. And I've gone a lot of interviews. I've also went to um, the audition for the New Portrait Family in New York City. That was a big thing. Oh, the building was packed. Oh man, I met a few people down there that came, that, that one guy, a couple of guys I met down there, they were trying to keep portraits and they didn't make it, they almost made it and they had, uh, they got discovered and they made their own television show and oh, whatever and um, so we got you know, we talked to them for a while before they became famous. And um, there was reporters and paparazzi and wanted to know what was going on, people taking pictures and everything. Okay, that was cool. Danny Bonaduce was there. He would walk down the sidewalk and... His mom called him, or he called his mom. His mom, he tells his mom, Mom, there's so many people here for the auditions. All these girls, all these... And, and he was one of the judges there. You had to sing a song. That's one of the things you had to do for the audition, to sing a song. The reason why I auditioned for the Parcher family is, number one, I didn't want to do it. Number two, my daughter was auditioning for Laurie. So she said, Mom, I'm not doing it unless you audition for Shirley. So I did. I wanted to be on TV. I, I didn't want to do it alone. So um, Danny Bonaduce cannot sing for beans. He likes to make, you know. So... I was going to go to South, South Carolina after this anyway. My son was there and he said, wow, there's so many girls there. So, after the audition was over, these bodyguards came up to me and they said, Danny Bonaduce wants to speak to you. I said, Danny Bonaduce wants to speak to me? Yeah, he wants to know, so... He, he spoke to us, and he videoed us. He has a video. I don't know if he still has it. But Danny Bonaduce 
videoed me and my daughter, and my daughter couldn't sing, so well, obviously, you know. But Donnie, Danny, not Donnie, not Donnie, Danny Bonaduce videoed us. And um, so somehow he has the video of me and my daughter or whatever. So that was my audition for the Partridge family. But nothing happened. A few weeks after all the auditions were done and they already picked who the people were, I went for the last, well they auditioned the people and they picked the people on TV. Well, I didn't see all the shows, so I went to California. And um, there was so many people there. My, my, my daughter didn't get in, and other people didn't get in, but I got in, and I sat in, in front of the audience. Um, my seat was moved, <clears throat> and guess who I sat next to? Yes, who I sat next to? Danny Bonaduce's wife and daughter, or one of his kids. And um, I was up in front. So, you know, David, so they uh, recorded the show and everything. And um, David Cassie had all the videos. So if you watch the last episode, of the auditions of the Parcher family. And you see somebody going like this. It was me. At every, like, I don't know if it was every commercial, but I was, I don't know, I was nervous. And I didn't know they were filming. And they got me, well, back, the back of me, you know, not the front. And then I was going like I was going like this, and I think that and when I saw it, I was on TV. My son saw it, I saw it, and when I recorded it, well, he recorded it for me, but somehow it got lost. But it was me. So David Cassidy was there. Shirley Jones was there. Um, at the last show of looking for the new part of the family. So he had a stack of videotapes and guess one of them was with me going like this. David Castor he had that. So that is one of my auditions that I've done. I've done many auditions but I figured I would tell you, oh yeah, one, one thing, when I was down in California for this last show of um, looking for the new Partridge family, met a guy down there and he told me, look in the phone book, he's done it, go to extras and they'll help you find a job and they'll pay you for the day. Well, I did that in New York, I did that here. I haven't found any place that would cast an extra. I found places that want you to pay money for them for me to go on. But my dreams was to, I wrote a play once, it was because I love the Partridge family and I know when they were caught, when they were saying two songs at each show so I made a play and I was going to send it to David Cassidy 